Good morning children. Hope you all are doing well. It's been a long time that we have connected and I'm really glad that we are able to resume our studies through this medium. It is actually a new phase for me to impart education online and I hope you will help me to make this effective and I wish that you will enjoy every bit of it. Now let us begin. Today we are going to do lesson 5 Adventures of a Nepali Frog. So turn to page 65 I shall try to go slow so that I am clear and audible to you. Okay. So, before going directly into the lesson, I would like to tell you that this lesson is about an adventure of a frog who lived in Nepal. Now, what do you mean by an adventure? Adventure means an unusual experience which is exciting or it can be dangerous at the same time. When you do something unusual or dangerous that someone of your age hardly do, then that is an adventure. Okay? Like some people go to the jungle and take photographs of wild animals, right? So that is an adventure for them because they find it exciting but that same task may not be exciting for some other people it can be exciting for a for a different set of people okay like we see in discovery or national geographic channels right you have seen there the people go and take photographs they glow or they go very close to wild animals and then take photographs very courageous there right so, so that is an adventure for them and some people also go for adventure sports also like scuba diving, rock climbing, mountain biking etc. I am sure you have seen this in television. Now everyone does not have that much of courage to do so, right? Even I personally do not have that much of courage to go for such activities. Now, since those tasks are tough or dangerous and are very rarely done by people, so these are considered as adventures. Clear till there? Okay. So, I was saying that this lesson is about an adventure of a frog who lived in Kathmandu, Nepal. And Kathmandu is the capital of Nepal, mind it. And that frog decides to travel through his country, Nepal that means through his country and go to places where no frog has gone till date. Where no frog has gone before or no frog has gone till now. Okay, now look at the first paragraph of page 65. Bhakta Prasad Bhaya Guto a young Kathmandu frog was barely out of his tad tadpole teens. He lived with his grandfather Buddhi Prasad, his mother Sanomaya and his sisters and brothers in a rice terrace by the village of Ishangu. Bhakta Prasad was more curious than other frogs of his age. So the frog I have been telling you was named Bhakta Prasad Bhayaguto and he lived with his family in a rice, rice terrace by the village of Ichangu. And who were the other members of his family? They were his grandfather whose name was Buddhi Prasad, then his mother Sanomaya and the other members were his brothers and sisters. As we all know, the earlier stage of a frog is called as tadpole. Now, how the tadpole looks like? I'm sure you have seen tadpoles. How does it look like? It has a, a little bit big sized head and it has a tail. And gradually the tadpole transforms into a frog. 
as the as this pass by the tadpole turns into a frog so the bhakta prasad was just out of that tadpole stage and is a young frog now and unlike his brothers and sisters he was very curious or he was very eager to know about different things or he wanted to have different experiences of life okay now next paragraph in the next paragraph we will get to know what kind of different experiences he wanted to have in his life so next paragraph he was the quickest to learn how to hop among his brood and had lately taken to go out of the muddy paddies and onto the downhill path used by humans so here bhakta prasad was a here we come to know that bhakta prasad was a very fast learner and he learned hopping faster than his brothers and sisters now what is hopping hopping is the movement of frogs yes hopping is the movement of frogs they do not walk slowly isn't it they hop or they jump and bhakta prasad learned hopping faster than his brothers and sisters faster than the other frogs of his group now you underline the word brood p r o o d brood you underline and write the meaning above group g r o u p write the meaning of the word brood g r o u p group okay so where do frogs usually live they usually live in muddy areas or swampy areas isn't it but bhakta prasad was fond of getting out of that place and travel to unknown places where no frog has gone so far as i told you before so one day he started his journey from the muddy fields to a distant place okay so now we come to know about his experience that he wanted to get out of his place of his birth place that means the muddy fields he wanted to get out of that and travel to unknown places and and the um, get new experiences of life now next paragraph he saw men women and children walk back and forth on that trail and wondered where they were coming from or going to normally frogs do not worry too much about going anywhere their lives consist mostly of lying in wait for insects that buzz about keeping watch for garden snakes which love to lunch on amphibians wallowing in muddy water and croaking till the throat goes dry but the humans walked up and down the narrow trail as if they were headed somewhere they seemed to have an intention so here we come to know that on his way to the unknown place he saw men women and children all were moving from one place to another as if they were very busy so can you guess where these people were going think of it where these people were going maybe they were going to their workplaces right or the children must be going to schools isn't it so this whole picture seemed very strange to him because why this whole picture of people going from one place to another seemed very strange to him because frogs are never so busy frogs are never so busy they used to lie on muddy areas or roll around there or they play there with a hope to catch insects or to keep themselves safe from snakes so that is their only purpose to search for insects or to keep themselves away or to keep themselves safe from snakes so that is basically the life of frogs they lie and play in muddy water areas looking for insects to eat and keeping themselves safe from snakes 
and what they do they croak for the whole day long what is the what is croak croak is the sound that frogs make but bhakta prasad wanted a life beyond this he did not want to be like his like the other frogs of his age he wanted to be uh, he wanted to uh, have experience of life different experiences of life rather than just staying confined within that muddy area he wanted to have different experiences of life and that is why he came out of that muddy place and went to see different areas of his country so he came out of his place to experience a different life clear till there so i'll stop here for today and you practice reading at home you practice this lesson to read at home and uh, we will continue the remaining part in the next class okay till then bye have a nice day and don't forget to wash your hands frequently take care of your parents and also of yourself okay thank you bye